John was concerned and said, I'm uncomfortable with this situation. John was concerned and said, I'm uncomfortable with this situation. Hey, your new couch is just beautiful. Do you like it? Well, I like the color, but it's a little uncomfortable. Uh, I gotta go. We've all been there, right? As language learners, we often understand words and know what they mean. But when we try to speak, the words just don't come out right. If you've ever felt like this, let us know down in the comments what you did in that situation. One exercise that I find works for this is shadowing. If you have no idea what shadowing is or if you've heard about it but never tried it before, today's lesson is just for you. To begin with, this is how I use shadowing to practice Portuguese. Hey, let's shadow this phrase in Portuguese. Eu gostaria de comer coxinha agora. Eu gostaria de comer coxinha agora. Eu gostaria de comer coxinha agora. If you're still unsure about the shadowing technique, don't worry, because today we're going to remove all your doubts and by the end of this lesson, you'll be a shadowing expert. First, I'll explain the difference between shadowing and the mimic method. Then we'll practice both these methods just for you to experience the difference and how they can help you advance your English. And finally, we'll get deep into shadowing and practice some fun exercises together. But before we get started, each week we create lessons like this to help English learners like you go from feeling like a lost and insecure English learner to being a confident and natural English speaker. If that sounds like something that you want to do, then be sure to join our community of over 350,000 by hitting that subscribe button and bell down below so you never miss out on any of our new lessons. The mimic method is a technique that helps improve your accent, pronunciation and understanding of the language you're learning by tuning your ear to the musicality of the sounds of the language. So it's not simply about repeating words, it's about feeling and understanding the sounds and rhythm of the language. Here's how to do it. First, find some music or recording of a native speaker. Then record yourself repeating or mimicking the sounds that you hear. This can be a short clip or longer clip, depending on your level. Focus on the sounds that you hear without thinking about the context of the words. Think of your mouth as a musical instrument trying to replicate a sound. Remember my friend who was helping me practice Portuguese? Well, we practiced the mimic technique together. Learning languages requires patience if you truly want to be successful. <laughs> Learning languages requires patience if you truly want to be successful. Learning languages requires patience if you, if you truly want, want to be successful. successful. Shadowing also helps with pronunciation and accent reduction. With shadowing, recording yourself repeating the words is optional and you can practice almost anywhere if you're comfortable with repeating words out loud in public. Also, the best part is you can do it on your own. All you need is your laptop, your smartphone and some earphones. So, like mimicking, shadowing requires you to listen to audio of a native speaker. You'll also need to repeat whatever is being said, following the rhythm and intonation of the speaker's voice. Don't worry about understanding the vocabulary in the beginning. All you have to do is focus on the sounds of the speech. If you're not sure where to start when it comes to finding the right audio to practice shadowing and mimicking, don't worry because we've got just what you need on our Real Life English app. You'll have access to full episodes of our podcast with 
interactive transcripts and vocabulary definitions. Having a great teacher can be life-changing, but I know many of you cannot afford that and have to learn on your own. And this is why we have made the Real Life English app a free resource that you can use to practice your speaking. So download it now for free by clicking up here or down in the description box below. Or you can just look for Real Life English in your favorite app store. Each time before you practice, ask yourself, what is it that I want to improve? This way you get the most out of your practice time because you know exactly which sounds to focus on. As you listen closely to the speaker's voice, you'll get used to the melody and tones of the language, which we use to express emotion and meaning. Soon, you'll start to feel the rhythm of the language almost intuitively without thinking. This helps you improve your pronunciation. Both these techniques will help you develop the confidence you need to actually express yourself in English. You're training your brain to focus on the sounds as you hear them. And soon you'll notice that your mouth will start to copy or produce the right sounds. To make sure you get the most out of shadowing and mimicking, here are four tips that will help you advance. Find a native speaker whose voice you really enjoy listening to, someone you wish to sound like. This will help you enjoy shadowing and keep you motivated. While listening to the audio, take note and write down any sounds, words or phrases that you have difficulty pronouncing. This way you can focus on these when you listen to it again. Or listen to the audio and pause after each sentence or word so that you can focus on specific sounds. First, you could listen to the audio and repeat every word as fast as the speaker without pausing. Learning languages requires patience Learning if you truly want, patience if you want to be successful. If you truly want to be successful. This is a great way to practice if you're busy doing other things or if you don't specifically want to focus on certain sounds. And the second option is to listen to the audio and pause after every sentence or after specific words when you want to focus on certain sounds. Learning languages requires patience, requires, requires patience if you truly, truly, truly wants to be successful. Now that my friend has demonstrated it, why don't you join in by shadowing these sentences with us? You can start by repeating the sentences really fast, like in the first example. Then you can come back and redo the exercise as in the second example, pausing the video and repeating sounds that you feel you need to improve on. Are you ready? Let's do it! Wow, I can't believe you won the lottery! What time will you be joining us? I'm sorry to hear that. Better luck next time. There's no way the three of them walked from Victoria Street to the beach. Get out of here. I don't ever want to see you again. Don't worry if you found this a little challenging. You can always play this lesson again until you're able to pronounce each word perfectly. Also, we'd love to hear your shadowing, so feel free to record yourself and share it with us on Instagram at reallife.english. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson, and if you did, please like this video and don't forget to share it with a friend who is also learning English. To continue your learning, be sure to check out this lesson we recently did. Oh, hey! I'm so glad you came. Welcome to my kitchen. Since you're here, 
let's have a conversation, you and me. And don't worry about trying to figure out what to say because I've already prepared a dialogue for us to practice. So I'll say one line and you'll say the other in response to what I'm saying. 